The reason too why we are in Arvitsjaur doing the geocaching is because I met a lady in Jokmok who told me she had found 47,000 geocaches and she recommended Arvitsjaur. And by the way, look at the path in front of me now. That's what we're gonna walk up. Woohoo! So she recommended Arvitsjaur as a whole. So she likes the different combinations of the different caches that are found here. I will also see. Why am I telling you this? <laughs> You're gonna see by yourself. I think I am so lucky that it's one of those caches which looks like it's something entirely different. And when you lift it, it's like a fake stone. This looks like a fake ventilation hut. Fingers crossed. Let's try to lift it and see what's inside. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> and here it says, this is a geocache, please let it be. Okay, so this is the biggest thing I've found in the woods so far. All right. So I need a number. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe I should look at... Okay, there's an eight and five. This will take a while. We have a problem. The lock just broke. And what I'm going to do is to report this. So when a cache is broken, you can tell this to the creator and then they come and fix it. For the second geocache, turns out you have to be very careful because there is military buildings everywhere. You're not allowed to film them, of course. So first I drove up to where the shooting field is. Great. So that's definitely where the cache is not. But I now know it's in the woods behind me, but there is no parking nearby because of course the parking belongs to the armed forces. I found a parking spot. I already forgot my pair of gloves somewhere. So this is going to be an expensive trip. No, joking. Maybe I'll find the gloves somewhere. If that is the way up, what does it look like going down? And I'm breathing heavily because apparently my stamina is adapted to walking the slack line, but not walking up hills. And the cache is not here. Lifting rocks, literally just tilting it and seeing if something is behind, was not maybe the right move. The search continues. Things like these sometimes are removable. And when you extract that, then sometimes you have this piece inside and there is a list where you can write your name, which is the log of the cache that you found. But I think my patience is running out. Next up, we're going to go to a historical part of the city, which is called Lapstaden. That is what Arvitsjaur is probably most famous for. According to the map, it is in the corner over there. Let's go! I have an idea. The thing that we're looking for doesn't have to be two meters tall in itself, but what we are looking for is at the height of two meters. When I saw a dark spot on the tree, I was like, yes, we found it. It's behind the trunk. But no, I think it's a particular fungus. It almost looks like a flower. I don't mind coming back and do this again. Let's enjoy the moment and walk through the different pathways. The next clue is by another lake. The description goes, me and my dad, we did some nice work in the woods. What do you think of it? So it should be easy to find. And I'm expecting maybe a small wooden house. And also saying my dad, I don't know if the person himself is 70 and his father 90, or if it's a father speaking for his child who's seven. But I am in the woods. I'm looking at this. There is nothing that is obvious. So let's start the hunt. I maybe found something. There is a birdhouse and it's blocked for birds. So birds are not welcome. This is how you tell birds to stay away. And look, maybe there is something here. La, 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 la. How do I unlock this? It's stuck. Wait, you have to unlock, unplug this first. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
they should come as surprises. And you see some names here, so you write your name inside. And I will not be doing that because I forgot to bring a pen. So I'm just doing this by documented digitally.